Hi, good morning. Ever wondered, uh, you know, while searching any mock test of any examination on, on Google. So mostly what you get is, is uh, you know, the PDFs. Uh, so look at it. Uh, I just searched for neat open mock test. The first few results out of, uh, say, 50,000 odd uh, results, <clears throat> which Google showed is of PDFs. Now, why PDF? And of course, you can check that how people are crazy about PDFs, 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 PDFs. So, so PDF is is a very popular format, and uh, it is because uh, it is very easy to make, and the content it does not move around here and there. The formatting stays, and uh, uh, the byte size is very small. That is why a lot of institute, a lot of uh, uh, teachers, they the preferred method method of uh, you know, making and using a uh, question paper is is PDF. Now what they do is they take out the printout or or you know share it on the WhatsApp for the, to the uh, to the students to take the test, but that becomes very inefficient way uh, because of the simple re uh, uh, reason that PDFs are very stubborn. They, you cannot manipulate much of them unless you convert to HTML and do a whole 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 kind of uh, uh, you know, improvement on, on those. So he, here I stumbled upon a very good tool, which can instantly convert any PDFs in the, uh, you know, MCQ format uh, test paper into an online quiz. So that is the power of it. So let me show you that. So I came across pdfmock.com. Uh, which says convert MCQ PDF question papers into an online quiz within minutes. So no more cut paste, unlike, uh, uh, you know, any other application back and where you have to uh, cut, paste, uh, format and type content that does not require uh, in this one and no more inserting images. So images can be very tricky because when you take out from the PDF, uh, the resolution is very small. And when you, when you try to put it, upload it on, on the back end of a system or an app, um, you know, it gets blurred. So we need to redraw the images or the equation, which becomes very tricky. It's way better than Google Forms. So let's see, how do we use this? So we log in from here. And if you are a new, a new user for the first time user, you can go here and you can create the organization name, organization address, and you can uh, put the teacher's name and their email IDs, respective email IDs, and you can keep on uh, you know adding them so you can have multiple teachers under one organization name or a single teacher under a uh, single organization so whatever is uh, do this so as soon as you add them you will be able to take into the login page where you can put their uh, you know email id with which you have registered or a phone number with uh, which uh, you have registered as a teacher you can use it and get the otp so i'm using mine so let's see how does it work uh, <clears throat> I've used it many times and it works like a charm, charm and it's very easy to make and uh, uh, the instructions are, are very clear there and they have put a lot of videos on the website also so you can check out there uh, if you want to uh, you know uh, understand how, how to do it. So I got this OTP very instantly. I go there and paste it here and there I got this open so these are the tests i have uh, made so far as a teacher i can manage my batch here i can create a new batch of students uh, where and uh, you know uh, these are the three batches and i can create a new one wherein uh, i can upload a, an excel uh, sheet here and which becomes uh, pretty easy for me and i can start managing so i go on my, my test uh, let me show how I can create uh, an online quiz from a PDF, existing PDF. So I click on the create test. And then suppose this is the mock test paper I have uh, uh, got uh, from my institute or from the internet as a teacher. So this is somebody else. This is just an example. I'm not trying to uh, do piracy. Just just want to show you how, how easy it gets. gets. So here I have uh, this question paper. This is a neat question paper. It has around uh, 180 questions and three hours time. And the correct uh, answer will fetch four marks and the incorrect will fetch uh, minus one. 
and there are no marking for leaving a question blank so suppose this is a question number one and it has four options it's a single correct multiple choice uh, uh, question so first i do is i you know do a little uh, you know uh, zoom in so that uh, i get more clarity uh, and i go on the marking scheme and i do this four and correct minus one and not attempted zero what i can do is if the marking scheme uh, you know says for example 0 0.25 so i do this uh, simple so it will stay for every question like this you can change any time you want but for for now we are going to make it one minus one so i go on clicking add and i have got four radio buttons here uh, with me i go here and start clicking all right so suppose the second option is correct i don't know the uh, actual answer but suppose uh, second option is correct i click on second option and i save it so first question is done you can see it here i, I can delete it from here question type is single choice uh, a single correct question uh, marks four minus one and at non returns zero and i go on the second one i go on clicking this as well and suppose the answer for the second question is suppose the first option i go there and click it again and when it becomes blue it means it has uh, taken the response as a correct answer, option and i go on save so the second option is save and now go on the third option i go on clicking these and suppose the third fourth option is correct and i click on this till it become uh, blue and i save it again so this is how i keep on going and making these questions uh, interactive and this pdf uh, question paper is converted into an online quiz then after i go i save this test so saving this test will be i can name anything i want test duration is three hours which means 180 minutes so uh, i do this i can put the description mm. um, easy 180 questions it will pick up the total number of questions and the maximum marks as you go on i'm going to attach a solution file as well so suppose this is the solution file with the answer key I attach this one and and then I save it now by saving uh, it will take me to the dashboard and you can see this question paper is saved and all the uh, you know uh, different parameters are taken so right now I have just taken three questions but you can go ahead and do for 180 questions the maximum marks will be automatically calculated it's a three hour duration so there are four options here either i can delete this or share it send it to my other colleagues who want to share it with their students in the whatsapp group or wherever they want i can edit this test uh, when i click this on i can go to back i can change the name i can change anything i want and this one is fourth option is the schedule test i'm going to schedule test right now so uh, when clicking scheduling this pop-up will come up so we have two options closed ended and open ended closed ended means a specific date and time uh, or open ended means uh, you know it will be on for uh, forever till the time you go back and uh, stop it uh, so suppose i want to make it available for a month or um, uh, a week whatever i want and the student batches i have suppose i want to give them and i also want anybody to take the test by entering their phone number or uh, email id so that i capture them i i use them uh their their uh, mm. phone numbers etc later on in adding my in my group uh, so i allow external stu students as well i schedule it so as soon as i hit, hit the schedule button uh, this thing is done so either you can put it on your classroom uh, paste it on your classroom or you can copy this url and send it on your whatsapp group or over email etc and here the 
response of all the students will come total students how many they have taken test internal student from your own badges batches and the external students how many students who have taken uh, who you do not know this is the link uh, of of uh, this uh, test and you can also download the whole report wherein all the student with their ranks and marks will be captured here as soon as they take the test so this is a wonderful tool and this helps us converting a pdf into an online quiz within minutes uh, the pdf is very popular and and we have just uh, we, we just saw that how popular is pdf wherein you get 50000 of uh, uh, search result and first few few pages of google search is always pdf because that is the pre preferred me method of uh, creating a test and distribution of the test so now we have uh, uh, converted into an online quiz now teacher can actually take these tests anytime they want because continuous testing mm -hmm. is very important it bridges the gap between the expectations and the result of the student so that everybody is um, at the same page uh, in terms of expectation so thank you very much and uh, use this tool all the best